why buy the Rogue Ohio bar for nearly $500 when you can buy its twin for around $300? Believe it or not, there's actually arguments to be made for both sides here. I'm gonna compare the two, let's dive in. What is up everyone, it's Jake back in the Barbin Garage Gym and for today's video, I've got the Rogue Ohio Bar and the Rogue Echo 2.0. In this video, I'm gonna compare the two and help you decide which one you need for your home gym. All right, before I get started with any of that, I gotta let you know we have reviewed a ton of barbells on barbend.com. And if you wanna explore our best list, just search Barbend Best Barbells and you can find out for yourself which ones that we like the best. Okay, I know I said the Echo 2.0 is the Ohio Bar's twin. They're not identical, but they do share some of the same similarities. So let's start with the tensile strength, which in my opinion is the main factor in deciding on a barbell. So tensile strength is essentially how much weight and force a barbell is gonna be able to handle before it begins to bend or break on you. So the Echo 2.0 and all of the options of the Ohio Bar minus the stainless steel version we have here share a tensile strength rating of 190,000 PSI. Both of these barbells also have a medium grade knurling, which is really nice for those Olympic style and CrossFit style lifts that you might find yourself doing. And because both of these barbells do have bronze bushings in the sleeves, it's gonna allow them to spin, which is really ideal for those lifts. Sticking with the sleeves, they both have a grooved pattern, which is really, really nice in terms of keeping your weight plates locked in place and it's gonna do it at a much higher rate than a barbell with smooth sleeves. And neither one of these barbells have a center knurling. That's really nice for those Olympic style lifts because it's not gonna irritate your skin, but you're also gonna miss out on the opportunity of doing a suitcase style lift, or you know maybe you do want that extra grip while you're doing a clean and jerk, or when you're squatting, it's gonna give you that extra grip if you had that center knurling. Okay, so what about those differences? All right, I did mention the Stainless Steel Ohio Bar does have a higher tensile strength rating. You're gonna see this one jump up to 200,000 PSI, which really makes it more accommodating for those elite level weightlifters. The Echo 2.0 only comes in a regular zinc finish, while with the Ohio Bar, you have a couple different options that you can choose from. There's also a pretty big price difference between the two. So for this video, we have the stainless steel version of the Ohio Bar. It's worth mentioning, there is not a regular zinc finish like you find in the Echo 2.0. So with the stainless steel Ohio, you're looking at around 370 bucks. The sleeves are chrome, but you can also get them stainless steel. That's gonna be an extra $95 or so. And with shipping, you're looking at spending upwards of $500 on your purchase. With the Echo 2.0, price around 270 all you have is that extra 25 bucks in shipping so you're looking right around 315 dollars if you're interested in the other options of the rogue ohio bar the black zinc and the eco are both listed around 300 dollars the black oxide is around 320 and that custom bar that you can literally customize almost every aspect of the bar that's about 350 bucks now in my opinion if you're going to go down the route of getting the ohio bar you might as well just go with that stainless steel because you're gonna get that extra protection from rust and corrosion. Okay, so the version of the Ohio Bar that we have is stainless steel with chrome sleeves. This is gonna really fight off rust and corrosion at a much higher rate than the zinc on the Echo 2.0. This is probably the main reason for the price difference in my opinion. Second one off the top of my head has to be the warranty. So with the Ohio, you're getting a lifetime warranty here. With the Echo 2.0, you're only getting a one year warranty. So this is something you really gotta consider, especially for those people who are putting their barbell through the ringer in the gym. Okay, so let's dig into the build now that went into both of these barbells. They're both very high quality, but they also use different materials. This is the stainless steel version of the Ohio Bar. This is a zinc finish 
on the Echo 2.0. This stainless steel bar is gonna fight off rust and corrosion much better than the Echo 2.0 can. The stainless steel version of the Ohio does have a tensile strength rating of 200,000 PSI, while the other options, that tensile strength rating is 190,000 PSI, which is similar to the Echo 2.0. Both of these barbells do have bronze bushings that are gonna allow the sleeves to spin, which is really what you're looking for when it comes to Olympic or CrossFit style lifts. They both also have a grooved pattern on the sleeves, which is gonna keep those weight plates locked in while you're doing those lifts. The knurling on both of these are on the moderate side of things, really nice, it feels good, but they're not gonna tear up your hands in the process. I did notice though, because of the stainless steel, you get a better grip with the Ohio bar than you do with the Echo 2.0. This is still really nice. It feels really good in my hands, not gonna lie, but this stainless steel just gets the job done. Okay, so which of these barbells do you need to add to your home gym? Well, really making a decision here is gonna boil down to three different factors. First and foremost is the money. Now it's no secret, the Ohio bar is more expensive than the Echo 2.0, especially if you were to get the stainless steel version that we have right here. Tensile strength is also gonna be a big factor. Now these two are pretty similar. The other versions of the Ohio bar are the exact same rating as the Echo 2.0, but the 200,000 tensile strength rating of the stainless steel Ohio bar is really, really nice. It's gonna be able to withstand more force in the gym and it's going to also lead to a higher warranty. So the warranty of the Ohio bar is a lifetime warranty while the Echo 2.0 is only a one year warranty. But since both of these barbells do share a lot of the same traits, if you're on a tight budget, I'd suggest going with the Echo 2.0. It's just as versatile and it's going to allow me to hit the same style of lifts that I would with the Ohio bar, but on a budget price. The zinc finish is not going to fight off corrosion as well as the stainless steel can, but with that extra money you're saving, you can always invest in a kit and you can take that extra care that's going to be needed to keep this barbell in your hands for a long time. Now, me personally, I already know I'm going to be a little bit lazy in terms of that proper upkeep needed on a barbell that does not have stainless steel. So if it was me, I would definitely go with this stainless steel Ohio. It does have that higher tensile strength rating. Plus, this stainless steel is really nice for the garage that we're in, and especially since we're in Nashville, where it tends to get really humid outside. While the tensile strength rating really isn't far off between these two barbells, I'm still gonna have to go with the stainless steel Ohio bar. I want that lifetime warranty. I love the fact I don't have to worry so much about corrosion because of the stainless steel. Plus, it does have some extra tensile strength, which is a very nice safety blanket, which means I can put this through that much more than the Echo 2.0. Now, with all that being said, the Echo 2.0 is still a great option for you to consider, especially if you're not interested in going for the big dog that is the stainless steel Ohio. It's super versatile. It does have the same tensile strength rating as the other versions of the Ohio, but at a discounted price. I just personally cannot pass up this stainless steel Ohio bar. It looks good, feels good in my hands. Plus I do get that extra layer of protection against corrosion. Thanks for watching y'all. I hope this video helped you learn more about the similarities and the differences between these two great barbells and also helped you find one to throw into your home gym in the process. As always, stay tuned for my next video, but in the meantime, head over to barbend.com and you can read more on this comparison. Just do a quick Google search, type in barbend Rogue Ohio Bar versus Rogue Echo Bar. You can read everything we talked about here today. I'll see y'all later.